so much for joining us, Davis. It's great to see you. It's great to be here on POTUS. And let's talk about your new movie. Um, let's start with the broadly. Uh, what was the aha moment, or was there an aha moment for your inspiration in why you wanted to uh, to film and create Waiting for Superman? It's got a series of aha moments. I mean, when I read that 1.2 million kids drop out every year. When um, I, you know, when I drive by the schools in my own neighborhood where, you know, it's expensive to buy a house and the schools still don't work, that's an aha moment. Um, it just sort of builds up over time. And the idea that, that my father used to tell me, you know, that every kid in America deserves a great education, that if you work hard, you can get a piece of the American dream, um, that I realized that that stuff is not real anymore for a lot of kids. That's a big aha moment. And it goes back to um, um, when I was five years old living here in Washington, D.C. 1968, I asked my mother, why do I take a school bus across the Potomac River into Virginia to go to school? And she said, because the schools in D.C. are broken. And I'm like, 40 years later, I'm still doing the same thing with my kids in Los Angeles. So the problem is we don't have enough aha moments. There's a sense of time piling up, you know. Well, you mentioned Washington and also Los Angeles. Those are two locations where you spend time with uh, five kids throughout the film. Uh, we were talking about this earlier. I mean, I've seen your other documentaries like An Inconvenient Truth and It Might Get Loud, and they're, they're always about stories, and you get invested in them. And in this movie, you follow the lives of five kids who are trying to get into basically better public school, better schools, not all of them public, some of them charters, some of them private. Uh, but I'm curious, how did you pick these five kids? And their stories are so interesting and at times really kind of tough to watch. Uh, right. So I'd like to know how you how you got acquainted with these kids, why you chose them, and what it was like for you working with them in those kind of intimate moments that are kind of tough when you see kids struggling. Yeah, well, you know, the other aha moment, going back to your first question, was I read an article hearing about the lotteries that they have. Thomas Friedman of the New York Times wrote this thing about seeing a lottery at the Seed School in Baltimore. And the idea that these families are playing bingo with their children's future meaning they're, they're desperate to get into the school, the one school in their neighborhood that actually delivers kids to college. That really shook me. And, and that was the sort of the, the, the framework of the movie, the idea of, like, let's find five, five families that are all looking for a great school. They all want a great school. But they have to submit themselves to the lottery. Now, I don't play the lottery because I don't like the odds, but these families have to, to win a spot at a great education.